Greetings, Marsh here. Welcome to episode 3 of my modded Factorio playthrough. Let's see, is there any other automation I can do with this deck? I don't think so. So it's time to work up. What's next? We can do... Yeah, logistics to get the underground belt and the splitter. But you see, here's a good example of checking. Let's say we chose this. Well, if you look at the splitter, it requires uh, basic circuits, which we cannot make at this point. So we'd be quickly disappointed if we researched that because we wanted to use a splitter for something. Um, and as a other note, you might be thinking, it's like, well, why not automate this and have one belt for all the coal? Why not run a belt all the way down from the coal patch up here? And the reason is, it's just these belts are expensive for early game, you know. Each piece is two and a half iron, and, you know, it's just we're not producing that much of it right now, so you don't want to get ahead of yourself. You want to just try to keep things simple and move up slowly. Did I not put very much coal in there? I guess not. All right, one more trip to the coal patch. Spoiler alert, we're probably going to go back there like 50 times. All right. Yeah, if you fill them up with like 10 or 20 coal, then that's probably like the only time you'll have to fill them up because we'll have upgraded to electric inserters by then. But yeah, you know, you don't want to uh, get too ahead of yourself in the design. You want to stair step your factory up one step at a time. Otherwise, you'll find yourself doing these crazy infrastructure projects that you either don't have the technology for or don't have the resources for. So try to keep it basic. So I think we've done as much as we can with this tech. So what can we do from here? Yeah, probably electricity. And one other way to look at it is uh, how can you make life easier? And one of the biggest complaints of this setup right now is just these burner inserters constantly requiring attention. So we can speed that up by upgrading to electricity, which locks all manners of things. Electric motors, which are used in just about everything that moves. Uh, the electric inserter, standard inserter, but it doesn't require anything special, so we can make them. Uh, and to make basic circuits, if we need them, which we don't, at, not at this point. And the turbine generator, which is a very, very early form of electricity. And some electric poles, so it sounds good. And it's also really expensive, you might know. But the reason is, is because it, they would be too easy to research if they cost less, because like the base tech of the game is like, you know, five or ten science packs. So it kind of defeats the point if it requires one science pack. So it's elevated in cost compared to what it otherwise would be, but it kind of gives you that feeling of progression. Um, oh, well, yeah. I was like, one other thing we can do is uh, automate production of science. I think it requires three. And at this early stage, you notice that I don't have... Uh-oh, that's out. I don't have a... Uh, a, ratio, a proper ratio of these machines. I just have the minimum amount so we can kind of get going. Um, I need to move this over again. Now I'm using a mod called Prospector, which uh, locks away a lot of the higher tiers. Wait a minute, that's not right. I can't talk and uh, do science at the same time. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Some more belts. There we go. I was saying something. Oh, probably I think I was talking about ratios or something like that. Whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm not going to really worry about what the exact ratio it is to all these uh, these science machines. I'll just build the minimum amount. So just one one machine, one machine, one machine. So, and usually when you're building any, any kind of setup, it's best to work from the end product backwards. Because if you start, you know, way up here in your process and you're working down, you might mess something up or realize you don't have enough space or that sort of thing. So, with this, the basic red science pack requires electromagnetic core, electromagnet coils. So just, you know, copper and, and iron the same as the stock game. Just... Uh, with these cool nifty uh, intermediate items and put one right here 
one right there. The core. And the coils. And definitely starting to notice a bottleneck of iron. It's not what I mean, it's a bottleneck in uh, our inventory. Uh, if I'm just noticing that we're running low on a lot of this stuff. So it's probably about that time to expand the mining operation. It's a little cumbersome when you're dealing with burners, but we'll make it happen. Let's see, I need two more. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about feeding these with fuel or anything for now. It, I don't think it's that important. They're not really going to be consuming that much. Right there, right there. So that one is iron. Oop, that one's out. I'll just put all the iron in there and some of the copper. So fill it up. Fill it up. All right, pretty good. Now we should be uh, auto making science. And while that's going, it's probably worthwhile to see what we can do to upgrade production here. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely low on iron. Now, as far as bottlenecks are concerned, the ore crusher, you notice, is one of the least of the bottlenecks. It's very fast with how fast it works. So, um, we could definitely support a lot more uh, drills and a lot more furnaces. You see how the furnace stops for a second. So we definitely can at least max out the furnace by having another drill. And that's kind of one way of looking at it is what's your limiting factor? And even though you might not have a perfect ratio of machines, maybe you can get a little bit better production by just adding a couple of machines here and there. So I'll move this one. Oh, yeah, I got those, so I'll scooch it down right there. Down. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh, nope, oh, that's not enough. And I need more. There we go. We can kind of uh, reorganize this a little bit. more coal. Be right back. Yeah, now we can put a giant stack in there. Uh, let's see, we've got one. I guess, yeah, we only need the one. Let's pick this up. Now we can make this thing more expansion friendly. So the next bottleneck right here is this inserter. It's always running. And it is holding it back a little bit, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I mean, there's some trickery that can be done, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Eh, yeah, probably is. We're still kind of low on stuff. So let trickery occur. I'll just put something right there. Make two more inserters. They won't be symmetrical, but at least it'll double the inserter capacity. And that needs fuel. 100 fuel, no. Hope that needs to some fuel as well. There we go. Alright, there we go. They're not moving anymore. So the new bottleneck is now 
stone furnace. That's definitely something we need to take care of. But it's going to require a lot of iron to do so, so you kind of just need to let the iron build up. Oh, this guy stopped. Let's move him over. So that was where it was, so let's put him here. And more iron. Yep, and we can fuel that up automatically. Let's kind of get the setup ready. Temporarily, I'll put some coal in there. Is that guy out? Yep. Alright, let's scooch him down. So now you kind of see how this is going to work, where it's a little bit of micromanagement, but every time one of these uh, mines out a patch, you can just kind of scooch them down a little bit. And then they'll get back to business. So, let's hope that's where it's supposed to be. There we go, we can take all that coal out. Or did I put all the coal in? Yes, I did. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we're completely bottlenecked on uh, iron right now. But uh, to make a bigger setup, it's going to be really annoying to do it with burner inserters, so I'd rather just kind of wait it out. Let's get some electricity first, and then we can uh, see what we can make happen. See, I could manually slightly speed up this process by just dropping a furnace right here, putting some coal in, and just filling it up by hand. Make it happen a little quicker. Yep, out again. Definitely need a lot of iron for this next step. And a lot of copper too, really. But, uh... I don't know how much I want to spend on upgrading uh, production of copper right now. I'll wait until I run out, because we're doing pretty good with it right now. Oop, out of iron. What do you know? The science is almost done, so it looks like a good time to end it. I will see you later.